<laughs> I wanted to share a short story, something that happened the other night that was super interesting. And this is something that as an artist, I absolutely love about the creative process is that sometimes it just comes out of nowhere and it wakes us up in the middle of the night or it forces us to you know, get out of the shower because it's just something that you've got to work with or else it just kind of goes. Happy to be out here in nature. There are birds chirping. It is gorgeous outside. Um, different vlogging place, by the way. I'm currently at my parents' house and it's literally just nature all around. So it's a beautiful place out here. I'm sure that I've put together a vlog where I was talking about how years ago, when I first got into music production, there was a track that I was working with. And for a while, I was really trying to perfect different aspects of that track. And you know, when you're going through that kind of creative flow, you tend to, you know, say the lyrics over and over and over again in your head or, you know, sing the tune to yourself. So that's what I was doing. And one day I was in the shower, had soap all over my body, and, you know, I actually decided to get out of the shower straight to my room and finish up the track, and it happened. It was pretty cool. And so it's stuff like this that kind of like stops you in your tracks, the creative flow and everything that really makes you realize how incredible this journey of creativity is and how it just really takes you out of your comfort zone, takes you out of, you know, it stops you in your tracks, it stops you when you're thinking about something and it really challenges you to, you know, say yes to it, to, you know, go with that five second rule and, you know, not just, you know, lay back and just not let it happen. Um, and so the other night, uh, it was it was pretty late, it was around like 12, 12.30 or so, and I don't sleep with my phone next to me. Um, I sleep with it off and with the Wi-Fi off. And um, all the lights were off. I just brushed my teeth, everything was ready. Uh, my girlfriend and I were snug in bed and we were ready to you know, fall asleep. And then all of a sudden, a quote came. <laughs> For those that know or don't know, both, um, I run a uh, spiritual and personal development podcast page on uh, Instagram. Awaken Space, and I also run the uh, the podcast itself. Um, but for the Instagram page, I'm always every single day putting out quotes that I come up with. And what ended up happening was this quote came to me, and I didn't have anything by me to write this quote down, and so like I had to be strategic about it. Mind you, my girlfriend is a very light sleeper. So it's challenging to work around these kinds of things. And so like I was, you know, I was contemplating, I was strategizing, I was thinking there's a pen over there. There's a piece of pa there's a piece of paper, you know, over on the uh, the counter next to the TV. Uh, my pad of paper that I'd normally write stuff on is in my closet perched up between a box and, you know, another, another bin. And so like I was thinking about all these different things and I was like I'm not going to turn my phone back on, so I'll just figure out a way to write this down. And it's wild how like one quote, like one idea can really just spring us up out of that. And you know what is interesting, the storytelling aspect of it might be even more important than the quote that I ended up writing down. But um, yeah, the, the quote that I ended up writing down was, no matter how many takes it takes, take it. And it's basically about how, like, you know, regardless of the amount of shots it takes to get what it is you're going for, just take it. Just do it until you get it. And it's really that simple. And so, like, you know, even waking up the next morning, like, in the moment of thinking, like, you know, strategizing, like, you know, what should I do to get this done? Like, you know, even coming out of it, it was like, okay, even if it's not the greatest quote in the world, the storytelling aspect of it, you know, just to get it written down is so cool. And like, I was literally tiptoeing through my room in the dark around the bed strategizing. And there's a part of the floor in the room that makes a lot of noise. And I was trying to be strategic to let, it literally like creaks a lot. And it's, it's enough that like, even if you like, you know, like just step on it, you'll wake anyone up. And so what I ended up doing altogether was walking around the bed, going over to my desk where there were pens, and then I had to find a piece of paper because I couldn't right off the bat. It was it was hard to find a piece of paper. So I literally ended up using a piece of paper. No, it wasn't even a piece of paper. It was, I had to get my, uh, I had to get an expedited passport because I lost mine and we were traveling to Spain uh, last year. And so there was like a, like a small kind of like fold 
of you know a piece of paper that said you know passport written on it so i literally took that went into the bathroom was trying to be as quiet as i possibly could i wrote the quote down on there and just like the whole storytelling aspect this is why i love being a creator is because it gets you at any point and you're either going to roll with it no matter how crazy it is or you're not going to and someone else is going to you know, like, I talked about that whole thing before, too, how, like, Michael Jackson, uh, he woke up at a crazy hour in the night, and he had to put this track together because he got this idea, and, you know, the, you know, the, his, his agent or something like that was like, like, oh, no, you don't, you can wait till the next morning, and he was like, no, you don't understand, I need to, because if I don't, then someone else will do it, and this is how ideas work, you know, like, people... You're either going to work with an idea and it's going to go somewhere and you're going to get it or you're not and someone else is going to do it. Like, I've heard people talk about like, like, oh, Uber, oh, I had that idea. Oh, well, you didn't do anything with it. Oh, well, you know, it's like, you know, the, the argument's invalid. But the fact of the matter is that there's this whole beautiful storytelling aspect inside of it that just is so, ugh, it's so good. I love it. But yeah, I just wanted to share that. And um, just wanted to say that true you know true to the matter of fact no matter how many takes it takes just take it just do it even if it feels like it's just you know take number one million and one just do it you know like if you feel like it's not sticking just take it just do it and the amount of times that i've done you know like in terms of like you know take in like you know filming and stuff like like take one take two take three like the amount of takes i've done just to get a youtube video just to get a video itself is wild you know the amount of times i've started the camera and i'm like crap because <laughs> like for some reason you feel like you want it to be perfect but it's not necessary hope you guys enjoyed this video i look forward to seeing you in the next one